Hi everyone, this is Aaron for Zolo Tech, and we're going to unbox and take a first look at the Logitech K760 wireless solar keyboard. I actually picked this up the other day for myself to use in some videos later on uh, that I'm going to be doing with the iPad. But basically, this is a solar powered keyboard from Logitech that's designed to work with an iPad or an iPhone or a MacBook or anything else that's Bluetooth. Let me go ahead and open it up. Now, I actually have used it for a day. It's packaged very simply, and it is a little bit expensive at $79.95 is the retail price anyway. And the keys are pretty nice, and I'll show you that in a moment here. If we open it up, you can see here's the keyboard itself. And then we have some important information and getting started guide. It's really all you have inside the box, but that's really all you need. You have this solar panel right here across the top. And what makes this particular keyboard unique is it has an internal battery. There's no battery to replace. And the battery will last up to three months on a full charge. You don't have to worry about charging it. It charges with the ambient light in the room or sunlight or whatever you have in the room with you at that time. So you never have to worry about batteries. We have this little cover here. I'll leave this for now, but we have an on off switch here. And then across the top, we have a bunch of functions specific to a Mac. So we have expose or mission control. This is a home button. This button right here is home for your iPad or iPhone. We have brightness, we have volume controls, and we have one, two, and three. And what that lets us do is switch between different Bluetooth devices. That's why I chose this keyboard. So if I hit F1 or one, what it does is try to connect to my Mac. I have two set to an iPad and three could be set to an iPhone or whatever other device you choose to use. So the keyboard is really nice. As far as that goes, there are some downsides I'll talk about in a moment, but the keys feel nice. They are a little plasticky. Let me see if you can hear this. They're a little plasticky, but they have a nice concave feel to them. So your fingers kind of rest down into the key, which is really nice. And it's a full size keyboard. So it should be pretty good for most people. It doesn't have a number pad. They actually do offer a version with a number pad, but it doesn't have the different keys for a Mac on it. Really nice keyboard so far. A little bit plasticky though, and that's the one complaint. I don't know if you can see this, but I'll show you. It does flex. Kind of bends and flexes if I want it to, but it does have these rubber feet and it's going to sit flat and I don't think it's going to cause a problem over time, but it does have that plasticky feel as opposed to an aluminum Apple keyboard that you could use as an alternative to this one. But again, you don't have to worry about batteries ever and it should be pretty nice to use. I've used it on the Mac, my own MacBook and I've used it on the iPad and it seems to do a really nice job. It does take some time to connect to the MacBook for some reason a little bit, but it connects immediately to an iPad. So I don't know what the delay is there, but overall, I really like this keyboard so far and I'll keep you updated as we do some other videos uh, where I may use this keyboard as well. The responsiveness is really fast and I, I don't know that you could use it for gaming. I, that's yet to be tested, but uh, if you have any questions related to that, that you're thinking about getting this keyboard, uh, or any suggestions with the keyboard or maybe why you don't like it or why you do like it, please go ahead and place that in the comments below. I always like to hear what you have to say about uh, the different products I have here to review. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.